Welcome back into the film room. I'm your host, Eric Turner, and we have a special Why It Worked video breakdown. And tonight I'm joined by Isaiah McKenzie, Bill's wide receiver. What's going on, Zay? <laughs> going pretty good. Everything's going well. Yeah, man. You know, a lot of Bills fans have been clamoring for you to get more playing time this year, man. I know it's been an up and down season, but I appreciate you tuned, you know, coming into the sh onto the show with me. And um, you had one hell of a game against the Patriots. And, you know, what better team to have a big game against? And, you know, it's probably been, I don't know, it's probably been a little while since you were, you know, the focal point of an offense. But it almost was like, you know, you couldn't miss a bucket no matter what was called. You know, in any time that Josh Allen and Dable called your number, you made a play against the Patriots, brother. Yeah, it was just a combination of everything going well. I mean, working well for itself. You know what I'm saying coaches calling the good, good, uh, good plays, and Josh putting the ball in the money, and me just making the catch. It all worked out. You know, O, o line blocking. You know, it, it goes hand in hand. Everybody has to do their job, but it, it felt like a great day. Yeah. So maybe when was the last time would you say that you know you were the focal point because. That's what makes this so great. You know, a guy like yourself, you know, that has a role on the team and, you know, his, his number's not often called, but then a game like this of this magnitude for the division, your number's called. When was the last time you had that feeling like, hey, man, I'm the mismatch. Give me the ball. Uh, I would have to say it was probably in college. I'd say we was playing Missouri um, back in, it was 2016, yeah, 2016 and, that day, I just I was just on fire, like you said. It was just like I couldn't miss. Right. And I, I ended the game for like eight catches, 122 yards, and I caught three touchdowns. So it was like a, a game. It was a, it was a, it was a good game, but this game was like I feel like this game was better. The, we going against the Patriots, being in the NFL, going against the Patriots on a big stage, a game we needed, and mm -hmm. it felt awesome. So I mean, it felt awesome to be needed, you know. Yeah, totally. I mean, you finished the game with 11 receptions, 125 yards, and one touchdown. Three of those receptions and 29 of those yards were on third downs. So you had a 100% conversion rate on third downs. And obviously, the play we're going to break down is your touchdown. That was on fourth down. Obviously, a reception for a touchdown. Uh, you know, at what point in this game? I know the touchdown we're going to break down was from that first drive. But yeah. as the game went on, I mean, there was almost a point in the game there. there they weren't respecting you. They were leaving you in the flats out of trips, uh, you know, formations, leaving you in the flats and man coverage. They weren't doing banjo coverages to get Bryant, you know, off of you on those third down situations. Like at what point in the game did you tell Allen or Dable and say, Hey, I'm the guy today. Like you need to feed me the ball. Um, I didn't, I didn't, probably didn't say those words and I probably didn't, <laughs> I probably, I should have, I probably should have elaborated more than what I did, but I mean, it it came to me anyway. But during the game, like the first quarter, I was we were running a lot of out routes, and we I noticed that he was playing a lot of outside leverage, off and outside. Right. And when he was playing off and outside, I kept telling uh, my receivers coach Chad Hall, I'm like, Hey, Chad, he's playing off and outside. You know, let me run away from him. And I didn't know how fast the guy was. I didn't, I knew how fast I was, but I didn't know how fast yeah. he was if I could run away, or if they would have somebody on the backside covering the over routes. But um. Um, I really didn't say much. It just started happening. It just started like Dabo, you know, he started seeing like I, you know, outrun the guy and just get across the field. And I was winning on man to man coverage, so he just kept the, you know, kept the ball rolling. And with the with the flat routes, they were leaving me open because we were getting the zone, but they was getting too much depth. The corner were getting mm -hmm. a lot of depth because they were trying to, you know, the high low read, high to low. Yep. Yeah. So when they kept getting depth, he's you know, Josh just kept dishing them out to his high, and I was just getting yards after the catch. Yeah, and that was great. You know, what was great about Josh Allen this game is he was taking what the defense was giving him. When those corners yeah. were bailing off and falling off and you were wide open underneath, he was taking it, giving it to you like this play, get, and, and you're getting upfield after the catch. That's the, yeah. you know, part of the element that you add to this offense aside from this, you know, the jet sweeps and, and touch passes. And, man, you you had some really great catches in this game on yeah. those deep over outs, and that's something that, we haven't seen as much of in 2021 because teams aren't playing as much man coverage in, uh, this season against you guys uh, than what we saw in 2020. But uh, I mean, after your day in those deep overalls versus man coverage, I'd be surprised if we see it anymore because there was no one able to cover you. Bryant could not cover you, as you said, from outside and off coverage on those on those crossing routes. 
And again, they weren't giving him any help here. You, you separate, you get into the guy's kitchen, you separate against Brian on that, another uh, deep in breaking route. But um, I'd be surprised if we see that much man coverage uh, against you guys and that wide receiver unit going forward, because I mean, the element with you in there now and that on film, they are going to have to be cognizant of what you can do against man coverage. Well, we do, we do love man as receivers. We do love man coverage. especially. Yeah. We love man coverage. You know, a dolphin, the Dolphins, they run a ton of it. Obviously, the, the Patriots, they run a ton of it. A lot of teams, like last year, ran a ton of it. So it was like, we, we love it. You know, we all can run. We all can catch the ball. And I'm pretty sure any receiver that's in our receiver room is is like licking their chops on his man coverage. More, when it's zone, it's kind of hard. You kind of like got to take what they give you. And, you know, just it's a long, it's a longer drive when it's when it's in zone, you know. And man coverage, you can you know, catch the ball, break a tackle here and there, and you can be, you can get a quick 20, you know, maybe even score on man to man. Zone is kind of thick and dunk and try to drive downfield and try to catch the ball, possession catches and stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't think teams play as man to man. <laughs> Speaking of zone versus man, we're going to get into the film room. We're going to break down your touchdown in the low red zone on fourth down. So let me set the set the play up. It's a first quarter, fourth and two situation ball in the low red zone on the three yard line, 643 on the clock. Josh Allen is in a shotgun formation and he has Devin Singletary and Sanders to the top of the screen, which is to the left side of the formation. Then knocks yourself and digs to the out, out to the right side of the formation to the bottom of the screen. And I want you to talk initially about what you saw prior to the snap as you're setting up here prior to the snap. Um, I see. Well, I looked at the shell. There was no. It was. It was kind of a shell, but it was a safety at the top or on Knox. It was a safety at, on Knox, and then you had you had Duggar on um, uh, Singletary, and yep. then 40, 41 on me. And so I, I see across the board. I just assumed man to man. And yeah, it I looks like man to man across the board, right? Across the board, man to man. So I didn't think it was. I I didn't know if it was. I knew it wasn't blitz zero because everybody was on a guy, and it was a. Uh, 21 Phillips was in the in the middle, so I'm assuming he was the rap player. So right here. From start, I was, yeah, I'm looking inside, as you can see. I'm looking at the ball, but I'm also looking at 21 to see if he's gonna uh go, if he's gonna be blitz one, blitz zero, or is he just gonna stay there and be the rap player? So that's what I was looking at before the play. Yeah, so prior to the snap, it looks like man coverage, as you guys can see, it looks like man coverage across the board as as Isaiah broke down right here. Everyone looks manned up quite well. Um, so let me talk about let's let's talk about you know what your route is mm -hmm. in this concept because it's a, a, so like a three man route concept to the bottom of the screen. Um, mm -hmm. So initially, what's your route within the scheme of that three man concept? Um, I had an under route, you know, and within is um, I had an under route. I was supposed to be one yard in the end zone. I kind of broke it sh short because I thought it was going to be a bang bang throw. I thought mm -hmm. Josh would you know our way first, but it was man to man, so. We tried to use the rub routes on the left, and um, they kind of comboed it on the left mm -hmm. side as you um, as you run the film. Yeah, they kind of comboed it the outside. Yeah, a little banjo coverage. They switch. Yep. Yeah, they switched it, and Josh, you know, his his read was off. Well, not read was off, but Josh went away from that, and then the next guy is me. So, mm -hmm. so I looked across the field. I see Bentley on the other side. I see twenty one being the rap player. Forty one lets me go. So, and, so right here is Bentley, right? Bentley is yes. just inside the goal line, and then you have Phillips right here uh, as kind of that that rap player, as you had mentioned, kind of that middle of the field defender reading Josh Allen's eyes. So, so you come across the middle, and you're standing at the goal line as the third option because Josh looked to the top of the screen at as you guys thought it was man coverage, right? So he looked to the man beater banjo coverage. It's shut down. So now you become the active, the hot route, the yeah. uh, guy over the middle that is number three in this concept. And as you said, you said you saw Bentley to the goal line, to the uh, along the goal line. You saw Phillips. And so normally, are you supposed to take it across the face of Phillips or, or go behind him? And why? Yeah. I was supposed to take it underneath Phillips only only because to take him away. If 40, because if 41 was following me, if he stayed with me and 21 jumped on me, he was going to hit digs. But 41 fell off, and 21 mm -hmm. was supposed to – because 41 fell off going back to Diggs yep. to play Diggs underneath, and 21 was going to take me if I went underneath him. But Bentley also was coming back to the middle as well. So it was going to be – if Josh would have threw it, it was going to be a bang-bang, and it was been, it would have been a tough throw for him, you know what I'm saying, considering it's two people on me. So, yeah. Two on one, yeah. 
Yeah, two on one. So instead of making it hard for me and making it easy for Josh, I just went over the top of Phillips and made me made so Phillips come by stuff. I love so it. I, I love it. And I seen Josh had room. I mean, Josh had time. So I went over the top, and then it's just me and Phillips. And his back turned, and Josh gave me a chance. So as you're you're now going towards the back line here, uh, uh -huh. where were you expecting the ball to go? Were you expecting the ball to hit you right? Uh, right along where the P is, or, or were you going to carry it all the way across the field? Well, I was gonna keep. I was gonna keep going, and I I seen Josh's eyes. I was gonna keep going, and I thought he was gonna throw me like probably a little bit past the P, or you know, just a little yeah. float. But I had no I, until I watched the film. I had no idea J.C. Jackson pushed the running back out of bounds. Mm -hmm. So I was I, I had I didn't I didn't see him in, until I watched the film on, on Monday. And good thing Josh, you know, threw me a liner and I, I got to slow down, throw it around and just, you know, catch it right there. Yeah, this is what I love about football. You know, it's a it's a the play calls there, everything looks, you know, a certain way prior to the snap. The the picture changes after the snap. You see them basically fall off into like a, a zone coverage. Um, three on two to the bottom to the right side of the screen here. Um, you know, three on two right here. So they kind of drop you. And then again, your thinking, your processing on the fly is really what makes this play. That adjustment of not going just across the face of this uh, player in Phillips and walking into a two-on-one, you work towards the back line and you know, still using your speed and you're able to reel the ball in on a throw that was to your back shoulder. So you, you know, you're running across the screen from right to left here from the end zone view, and you're able to, you know, throttle down and make that catch in the back of the end zone, on your back hip, on your back shoulder. Just uh, just great work on the back line there, Isaiah. Yeah, it was a – it was a <laughs> – sorry. I asked, I, I asked Josh, I said, hey, Josh, you couldn't throw that in the back, well, at least a little <laughs> bit further? And he was like, yeah, I saw uh, – he said J.C. Jackson was coming back, so I wasn't throwing that. And I was like, oh, you saw that? Because I didn't see damn, it. He obviously damn. didn't support it. So he – obviously he read it. He read the left side first, and then he saw me, and he was like, okay, I'm going to just – he said he just – do a tight throw, you know what I'm saying? And I came up with a catch, so yeah, I appreciate him for that. Yeah, that's great. As you said, he started left. He got, you know, one and two uh, and and ruled them out. He gets to number three yourself. And But I, what I love about this, too, is he saw you and he saw Phyllis, but he does one quick check out to Diggs right there. And he's yeah. as you had mentioned, Bryant was kind of, you know, fell off and sat there, number 41. And, and so he's eliminated. And with all that time for Josh Allen in the pocket, you extend the route. He's able to extend the play from the pocket and hit you on the back hip there for the touchdown. Just great work between uh, two guys there uh, in yourself and Josh Allen. And, you know, kudos to you, man, because these are little nuances and things that guys that, you know, are getting a lot more reps than you in practice because a lot of people don't realize, Isaiah, that, you know, depth players, they don't only, you know, practice the plays that are in the game. That You might not get as many reps, but you're yeah. also doing scout duties. So you're not yeah. – you're, you're, you're doing a lot. You're wearing a lot of different hats, and people don't yeah. realize that, you know, and, and then add in special teams and all that stuff. So kudos to you for, you know, thinking on your feet outside of the, the scheme there, man. Great work and great breakdown and details in that touchdown against the Patriots. I appreciate it. Appreciate that, brother. So now with that over, I got to yeah. ask to wrap it up. There's a big game tonight, and it's, it doesn't involve you, but it involves your alma mater. Yeah. So. Let, let me hear your prediction for the game and maybe share a nugget or two. That's one thing, like, when I break down film, I try to share a nugget that many other people aren't covering. So maybe give us something something to watch in this game, something that fans can take their eye off the ball and either watch his player or watch his concept or down in distance. Give us something good to take in uh, tonight when Georgia plays Michigan. Um, I would say my prediction for the game, they, you know, what is it? Was the spread is like seven points or something like that? I feel like we have a, a great chance. You know what I'm saying? To go up, go up big and and get to where we want to get to, and that's the national championship. But we got to handle Michigan first, and they're gonna. I think they're gonna. They're gonna get it done. I know they're gonna get it done, and I'm not too worried about it. But um, I would say the nugget I would have is uh, I I got to go with the defense. You know what I'm saying? It's defense on on third down when it when it matters. You know, defense. They, the defense comes up big every time. And I, you know, I love me some '99, you know, in the, on the, in the D line. You got a couple of good players. Got a couple of good players. In a couple. 
Yeah, a couple of that defense is stacked, dog. Come on now. Don't don't play humble now. Isaiah, I think we all know your personality. Don't play humble now. You can you can bust it out our the cover one film room now. Like you can yeah. you can you can throw out that swag. You know you got that swag in this game. Come on now. Yeah, I, I listen, they, they do got a lot of good players, and I wanna I wanna see them do well. That defense I wanna see do well. And also, you know, I hear a lot of talk about, you know, Stetson Bennett and JT Daniels. That's you know, it's like you know, yeah, J- I, I I heard a lot about JT Daniels to be honest from Matt Barkley because JT Daniels is from California, right? And yeah, from Matt yeah. Barkley because he he loves JT Daniels, and I'm like, yeah. you know, Stetson Bennett, he, he, the mailman delivers. You know what I'm saying? Walk on. The mailman delivers. He always <laughs> he always delivers. Like I'm watching the season, I'm like, he getting the job done. You know, he, so, he get it done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'm happy to watch him and see him go out there. You know. Is, you know, sling the rock, you know, help this team win. But uh, oh, one more player. He's back. Pickens. I can't oh, wait. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Pickens oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see him play. You know what I'm saying? That boy's smooth. That boy's yes. smooth. Yes. We are, you know, I, I you know I missed him out there. I, I like seeing him play. Um Laylock's not out there, but you know what I'm saying we'll get him back next year. But a lot of a lot of great young receivers out there that's you know ready to ready to play 84. Uh, he's doing mm-hmm. a hell of a job. The freshman, the tight end, tight end. Yeah, we got a lot of talent. It's a lot of talent. I just want to. There see you it. go. There you go. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see it all come together. You know, but I think you know. I know, you know, Georgia has this tonight, so I can't wait to watch. Yeah, I can't wait either, man. And I'm sure a lot of fans can't wait to watch this breakdown and hopefully some future breakdowns with you and I in the film room. Isaiah McKenzie, appreciate you joining me in the film room this week. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you.